Hey guys, what's going on here? Um, today I have a muzzle flash tutorial for you guys, um, and girls. So, <laughs> anyways, so what it does is it makes when you shoot, like, say you're in a video, you're say doing like a um, a cap gun or something like that. When you shoot it, it'll have a flash coming at the end and make it look more realistic, I guess. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your clips. So this is my clip right here. Like that, and then if you when well, for the click, we don't want that because that'll interfere with the rest of the video. So we're gonna right click the audio track and delete it. So now we just have the video. So there's no more click. It's just silent. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a muzzle flash like this one that I have right here, and it's kind of you could get it off Google Images or anywhere, really. And what we're gonna do, well, first we're gonna go insert a new video track, find where, no, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the frame that our arms start to move. So this tool right here lets us skip a frame. So, here it's stationary, and then here it starts to move. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this, and drag it right there, and then we, cause it, see how it has a black background, which will not do. We go to compositing mode in the muzzle flash track, and go screen, and I'll remove all the black. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go event pan crop, and we're gonna make. We still want it pretty big, so then it's noticeable, and we're gonna move it over here. And then we're going to rotate it, and like that. It's as simple as that. And then we just, what we have to do is see right here, we only want this flash to appear for one frame. So see how it goes, this frame's right here, then next frame, the gun moves a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to have it where, where it starts. Go one frame. Oh, make sure you have the muzzle flash selected, sorry about that. So starting at the beginning, one frame, then split, and delete the rest. So now it goes like this. And um, my recorder, it doesn't have very high f frames per second, so in the preview that I'm showing right here, it might not pick it up, but trust me it will. Because it's only there for one frame. So it might, when it records, it might miss the frame that it's there. So anyway, now it's it's mute, right? So there's no volume. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go insert audio track, and we're gonna go right where the right where the flash is, and drag a gunshot that you can download download off the internet. But we have an issue, which is um, there's a delay. See if you go like this, has a bit of a delay, and it doesn't sound completely natural. So we're just gonna go right where the right where that bar starts to move up and down. Delete delete this bit. I don't know why that always does that. But then and then we'll just drag it to where it starts. So now it'll look like this. Like that. And then so you can stop there if that's what is that is that's what you want. But I like to have it so that there's a glow on parts of my body such as here on my or here we'll go here such as here on my face so it glows a bit here on my arms and a bit on my shoulders and if there's furniture in the background or something in yours you may want that one to glow as well so all what I'll do I'll just do a demo on the head right here and then that'll explain how to do the rest so what we're going to do is we're going to go right click the, the actual clip and we're going to duplicate the track and then we're gonna get this new track that we just dupe that we just got duplicated. We're gonna go to where the muzzle flash starts and we're gonna go one frame. So that's now it's disappeared. And we'll go split. And then we'll delete all that. And then we're gonna go back to where this video starts, which is one frame after the muzzle flash, and we're gonna go two frames forward. One, two. Then split again. And then we're gonna delete this one. So now this video is two frames ahead of this one ahead of the muzzle flash. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to go compositing mode, add, compositing mode, add for the two, and now it's all lit up, and that's for the two clip tracks. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go event pan and crop on the really short track. And we're going to go mask and get our masking tool, and we're going to select areas of the face that we want highlighted. And see that, that looks pretty bad, right? So we're going to go feather type, out, and feather, we're going to make it about four, because that's what I like to do. And then change the, you can keep it like that, I guess, if you want. But I like to maybe go 65, because it makes it not super out as intense. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Here, I'll, maybe I'll do the arms, because we, yeah, I'll do the arms. So you just kind of kind of select... You don't have to be too precise because the feather makes it look pretty good. But you have to have a fairly good idea of where you want of where it should be. Which I don't. But you know, I'll try my best. So I don't know, that that's just what I like to do. And then maybe put it here. Hold on. A bit here. I don't know, that's just how I like to do it. It looks a lot better. It looks pretty bad right now, but it'll look better in the video. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to go back. So here, I need to change that to preview. So I may not pick it up because the frame rate isn't that good on this, but... I'll put a final cut other at the end of the video. I mean, a final product at the end of the video, so you can see it yourself. And bye, guys. Uh, bye.